Welcome to the special edition of Prayers from the Oratory on this last day of August as we celebrate the 205th birthday of St. John Bosco. But due to the realities of the pandemic, we chose this year to reminisce instead on the past competitions and their winners. May the offering of songs be for all of us a source of inspiration consolation, and joy as we reflect through our patrons' inspiring qualities in the midst of trials and distress. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. John Bosco, Father and Teacher of the Youth, who labored so much for the salvation of souls, be our guide in seeking the good of our souls and the salvation of our neighbor. Help us to conquer our passions and to practice daily our faith. Teach us to love Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. Mary, help of Christians, and our Holy Father, the Pope, and obtain for us the grace of dying as friends of God, so that we may all be gathered together with you in heaven. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. He rejoiced in his sufferings and offered everything to God, so much so that even the most arduous and repulsive tasks he regarded as easy and pleasant. Was it really a pastime for him to stay with boys who were uneducated, coarse, noisy, not always grateful, and clumsy even in showing their gratitude? Was there much satisfaction in exerting oneself to teach boys who were either dull or stubborn or lazy? Yet he treated them all with so much affection and concern that not even the best of fathers could have done better. Yes, Don Bosco so loved them that for the sake of their souls, he would have gladly faced and endured any torment and even sacrificed his own life. St. John Bosco is known throughout the church as the father and teacher of the youth. Having taken care of many underprivileged children throughout his lifetime in the oratories and schools that he built. Many of those who received this nurturing love thus extolled him, as a child would do to his parent. Let us now listen to the Our Lady of Pentecost parish singers as they sing the 2015 contest piece, The Mihi Animals, on the occasion of St. John Bosco's 200th birthday.
Don Bosco saw in his fellow beings the image of their creator, and he did not differentiate between rich and poor. On the material or spiritual level, he paid no heed to error, guilt, enmity, ingratitude, difference of opinion, or political affiliation. He was not prompted by likes or dislikes. If he was partial to anyone, it was to the most destitute. He had always helped them generously. Always ready to guide the young and extend a helping hand to the needy, St. John Bosco spent his life looking after the welfare of those who could not take care of themselves. Let us remind ourselves of this wonderful quality especially as we go through the trials and challenges of today's harsh world. The winner of Himig ng Kabataan 2016, Coro Amadeo, now performs Father Stephen Schenk's composition, Friend of the Young and the Poor. If he did not succeed, he took the blame and resigned himself to God's will and to whatever he permitted. If he succeeded, he attributed it to God and to the Blessed Virgin and to the saints whom he had invoked. He gave thanks to God and urged us to do the same. His unalterable calm, courage, and dauntless perseverance arose from this selflessness and humility. To those who knew him well, it was obvious that he was talking as a father, a friend who tells of his ups and downs for the edification, instruction, and comfort of his dear ones 
so deeply interested in his joys and sorrows. St. John Bosco once said, Do your ordinary duties extraordinarily well. As you live this life as an example of diligence and humility, let us be inspired to live a life of faith and fervor and trusting to God everything that we do in our lifetimes. Listen to Him to Don Bosco as interpreted by the Gloria Patri Singers, champion of the 2017 Himig ng Kabataan Ale kay Don Bosco. carefully chose those whom he felt most likely to help him realize his projects. In his own way, he fashioned them according to the ideal he had in his mind. He united them to one another with strong ties of common spiritual interests and drew them closely about himself with a powerful magnet of true affection until, quite unaware of it, they were welded into a sound, compact, well-organized body, able to stand their ground, grow, and develop to gigantic proportions. With friends, supporters, and his very own oratory boys, St. John Bosco founded the Salesian Society and its other associated organizations as a planting ground for missionary work. From a small number, it has since grown into the thousands 
spread all over the world with the aim of propagating the faith across all lands. And now, the two-time winner, Gloria Patri Singers, performs the 2018 competition piece, Uso Salishani. can only be one answer, the grace of God, the hand of the Almighty. But whence did this great servant of God draw the inexhaustible energy demanded by so many undertakings? He himself constantly revealed this secret in the slogan which so often recurs in Salesian undertakings, 
his own motto, give me souls, away with the rest. This was his inmost secret, the strength and ardor of his charity, of his genuine love for souls, stemming from his love for our Lord Jesus Christ, in whose mind, heart, and precious blood he saw those very same souls. No sacrifice or enterprise was too formidable for him in order to win souls who were so intensely loved. He is father, friend, example, and leader. But more than all those, the gift of God that is St. John Bosco presents to us the opportunity to look into ourselves for our own gifts, which we can share as partakers of the mission to save souls. The Lighter Side Movement, winner of the 2019 competition, now regales us with the rendition of Father Armad Robles's Bahala Ka na Lord. Father, and, and of, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. O glorious Saint John Bosco, who in order to lead young people to the feet of the Divine Master, and to form them in the light of faith and Christian morality, did heroically sacrifice yourself to the very end of your life, and did found a fitting religious institute, destined to endure and to bring to the farthest boundaries of the earth your glorious work. Obtain also for us from our Lord 
a holy love for young people who are exposed to so many seductions in order that we may generously spend ourselves in supporting them against the snares of the devil, in keeping them safe from the dangers of the world, and in guiding them, pure and holy, in the path that leads to God. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us in this special August edition of the Prayers from the Oratory in honor of St. John Bosco's 205th birthday. We hope that having reminished through these performances from our award-winning choirs, the music resounds within us as a call to emulate him who we call the father and teacher of the young. May the spirit of St. John Bosco lead us ever closer to his mission of saving souls, propagating faith, and caring for the young. The Lord be with you, and may our compassionate God bless you and your loved ones, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace and love of Christ. <laughs>